welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I haven't done in ages and it's a product fails video or I guess back in the day I used to call them products I regret buying but I don't want to call them that anymore because some of these products I actually didn't buy. I was sent to them free of charge. So um, basically just products that didn't work for me. Maybe that's what I'll call it. I don't know. What should I call this video? So like I always say in these videos, just because I dislike one of these products does not mean they are bad across the chart. Makeup channels are strictly opinion based channels so I may dislike these products based on my skin type or you know whether I have oily skin or dry skin or maybe I like a certain texture and lip glosses but that doesn't necessarily mean they are bad for everybody so if you actually ended up loving one of these products please comment down below and let me know why you liked them because it might be helpful for people who have maybe a similar skin type as you or something along those lines and also just because I dislike one product from these brands does not mean that the overall brand in general is a bad brand um, most of these brands I absolutely love they're my favorite brands they just maybe didn't hit the nail on the head with one product, so keep that in mind as well. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started because this intro is already getting really long. So the first product, as you guys know, I did a review on this. These are the Magnetic Lashes, and these are the three second lash, and these are the As Seen on TV. They also have Ardell ones, and I have watched a few videos on the Ardell ones since I uploaded this video, and they seem so much better. So yes, these ones, the three minute lash ones, just were not good. The Ardell ones actually did look like they worked fairly decently because they had magnets all the way across the um, lash band, where these had one magnet right in the middle, and it was just a disaster. They sell these at Rite Aid, you could probably get them on like the internet too, but not worth the money these were like 30 freaking dollars next was a product i was going to try uh, as like an as seen on tv product you know i've done like the you know eyeliner tape i've done the magnetic lashes like the spray nail polish and stuff and i was going to actually do this as well and these are the eyebrow tattoos and this is a japanese brand i think or chinese brand and they're supposed to be like brow tattoos where you like draw your eyebrow on and then it's supposed to stay for like a week well, I wanted to see what color this was, and it's a really, really, really red brown. And I was like, uh-uh, that is not gonna work. And it literally looks like a brown for like a redhead. And so I ended up not using it. But I do have to say, I tried it on the back of my hand to see how long it would actually last, and it's really not that great. Like, I could take my um, finger, wet my finger down, and I could literally rub this off if I wanted to show you so as you can see I just did that with a wet finger and if this is supposed to last a whole entire week I would not expect that to happen with a wet finger so this is the Monomola eyebrow tattoos and this is in dark brown next up is a product that I actually received from amazing cosmetics these are the Illuminate Illumin Illuminate. Did I really just say that Illuminate <laughs> so these are the amazing cosmetics illuminate primer highlighters and these are you could use it as a primer or a highlighter. I was using them as primers. Um, but honestly, I just was not a huge fan. So this is what they look like. This is in rose and this one is in, what is it, glow. So this one's a little bit more on the pink side. I just put these under my foundation and I just didn't really feel like they did anything for my skin. I put them on and they're just kind of like this wet, shimmery primer. But I didn't really feel like it did anything for my foundation. It didn't really make my foundation last longer um, and it really didn't do anything for like illuminating my foundation either. I just felt like it was like a pointless step that didn't really do anything. And I also don't feel like these have enough pigment in them to even act as a good highlighter either. So this is what it looks like all rubbed in. So as you can see, there's like not even really a shimmer to it. And I just didn't think that it was really worth it to put that on my cheekbones because most likely I would just go over it with like my favorite powder highlighter. So, okay guys, so next up are three highlighters. I am a highlighter snob now. And do you guys ever have like a product that you love so much that any other product in that category, if it doesn't like meet that favorite, then it's just not up to par and you don't like it. Like that's how I feel like I am with highlighters now because I love Ofra highlighters so much. They are like the top tier highlighter for me and so when a highlighter doesn't match Ofra's quality I just don't like it and I don't want to use it and I feel like that's kind of my issue right now. The first one is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. This is not really rainbow. I don't know why they call it rainbow but it's just like this strip highlighter. This isn't 
horrible, but it's not up to par with my favorite, and that's why I put it in my products I don't like video, because it's just not the best, and I ended up just going into my favorites, my Ofra ones, instead of this one. Um, the thing that I didn't like about this one is it's chalky, and I hate chalky highlighters. I don't know if you guys can see it on the back of my hand. But it is shimmery, but it's also chalky, and I feel like the chalkiness kind of takes away from the shimmeriness. And so I feel like it doesn't look all that shiny on your cheekbones. Um, this is honestly probably a pretty cool product if you want to use it on your eyes. It's like a shimmery eyeshadow on your lids because it comes with so many different shades. But for highlighter, just not, not a good product. I wasn't a fan. Next up is this. This is also Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. These are the square ones that just came out recently. And I thought for sure I was going to love this. Like, I really, really thought I was going to love this product, and I really tried to like it. But again, it's the same thing as the highlighter I just showed you. It has shimmer to it, but it's also chalky, so I feel like the chalkiness takes away from the shimmer. And so you're just not going to get that really, really nice, like, bam highlight. You know what I'm saying? Hi, you girls. <laughs> this is a really pretty color for, like, a lid color, just like the other palette. But for a highlighter, what are you doing? Next up, after talking about Ofra highlighters for the last like 20 minutes, is an Ofra highlighter. Now, this is a great um, pigmented highlighter, don't get me wrong, it has a really, really good color payoff. Um, the only thing is, is it's too white. I feel like anybody that wears this is just gonna look like a big white pearl like patch on your face, like a big pearlescent patch. I feel like the only people that this would work for is somebody that has like that snow, snow white really pale milky skin which is absolutely beautiful and I know sometimes when you have like that really pale skin it can be really hard to find something that works for you because contours tend to be too dark, foundations tend to be too dark, highlighting concealers tend to be too dark so this would actually work really well for those of you who have light skin but for anybody else it's just too too light. So it is right here as you can see it's extremely pigmented it has a lot of shimmer to it it's just too white and I just feel like it's too hard to work with. Okay next up you guys <sighs> this product I really wanted to include in this video because you guys know that I love me a good drugstore like makeup product. I love cheap makeup. If a product is low in price but really really good I love it. Like I just love a good bargain and I wanted to include this because this is such a good example of why I like to shop drugstore. Now, I love Urban Decay. Urban Decay is a great brand. I liked like 99% of what I've tried by Urban Decay. It's one of those brands that's really a no-fail line and I rarely dislike products from that line. But I just got this in the mail. This is the Disco Queen Highlighter. Looks like this. It is, sorry, there's like a major reflection. It is a purple highlighter. Now, don't get me wrong. This is actually really kind of pretty. I'll show you. It looks like this. It's like a light lavender. And when you apply it, it's kind of like a iridescent, holographic, cool-toned, purpley highlighter. It looks like that on my pinky finger. I don't know if you can see it. So it's a really pretty, like, purple-toned highlighter. It's not horrible on the skin. So this packaging is probably the cheapest packaging I think I've ever seen a high-end brand package their makeup in. It is very, very cheap. It kind of feels like something that you would get from, like, Wet n Wild. Um, it's plastic. It feels like after a while, the um, this, the hinge, is going to crack and break. You know plastic packaging, how it breaks after a while if you use it a lot? This is plastic. It literally feels like something that you'd get from like Wet n Wild or Essence or something along those lines. The packaging is so, so cheap for the price of Urban Decay. And if you're going to spend a lot of money on a expensive brand, you want the packaging to be nice and different and unique and this literally feels like something from the Dollar Tree. I'm not even kidding. And then on top of that, the highlighter is really hard and I hate highlighters that are hard. I like creamy highlighters, kind of like the Oprah ones. I hate to say it again. You know, you tap your brush in and you have a ton of product on your brush. This is like hard. It's like a hard product. You don't get a lot of pigment on your finger. I mean, if you really, really work your finger in there, you can get it and maybe if you applied it with your finger, you could get a decent look. But overall, like, a brush doesn't pick up the product very well, it's just hard, and I think that they were going for something really cool with this, and I think that they had a good idea, and I think that if it was executed better, this product would be actually really decent. I just don't think the execution was there with this product, and I'm really disappointed in the packaging. I feel like if you put a, like, really cheap brand name on this, nobody would be able to tell the difference. 
and I don't like that when you're spending a lot of money on a brand like you want it to feel like good quality right next up is two foundations and this one is the elf foundation serum this is broad spectrum 25 I got this to try out in a video um, and then I never got around to it for whatever reason but I tried it a few times and this is such a lightweight foundation I hated how it looked on my skin it literally looked like tinted water and I remember looking at my face in the car mirror and I was like that just does not look very good like if you're looking for something that is like very you know lightweight very low coverage I think that there's better options than this maybe like a BB cream or a CC cream or something but this just wasn't great and the biggest thing that I was like are you serious with this is this looks like a decent amount of product right like it looks like a big thing of foundation well I cannot believe this if you look underneath the thing is pushed up right all the way to here so you're only getting this much foundation in the entire bottle i only used this like one time and you're get literally getting this much product like talk about jipping you next up is this this is the nyx total control um drops the drop foundation I wanted to like this so bad guys I really wanted to like this and in fact I thought I was going to like this because I love foundations like this the thing I just didn't like about this is I feel like it didn't have very good coverage I feel like it didn't last well on my skin the only thing I feel like these would work well for is maybe like color drops so if you have like a really dark foundation you could maybe get a lighter color of this and like drop it in there to make it like a maybe a little bit of a lighter color or vice versa but for a foundation alone I just didn't like how it looked on my skin I kind of felt like it got oily by the end of the day it wasn't high enough coverage for my taste and when I looked at my face in my car mirror which is always how I can like judge whether or not I like a foundation is how it looks in my car mirror because it's like natural light I just didn't like how it looked on my skin and I really wanted to like this I actually bought like three different colors in this because I wanted to get the right shade and just none of them looked good so I wasn't a fan of this let me know if you guys liked this because I know this was popular with some people it just wasn't really popular with me so I don't know next up is this this is the Koki professional professional <laughs> Koki professional kissable liquid lipstick and this color looks so pretty look at this color isn't that beautiful I mean it's a perfect my lips better color um, and I love Koki Koki is actually one of my new favorite brands I recently discovered them they are sold at Walmart and their foundation I love it was in my best products of the year last year um, this is like a liquid lipstick and I thought I was gonna love this because of the color but these are very thick to the point where you can hardly even apply them because it's so thick it kind of feels like somebody like mashed up a matte lipstick stuffed it in this tube and you try to apply it with like a doe foot applicator so hard to apply it doesn't go onto your lips it is so drying like right off the bat it almost needs some kind of like mix to make it creamier and smoother and just like help it glide onto your lips a little bit better so I think that they could work on this formula a little bit more and try to come up with something maybe a little bit better because this color is bomb I just wasn't a huge fan of the like consistency next up is three eyeliners so as you guys know I'm obsessed with physicians formula eye booster pens obsessed literally obsessed they took the physicians formula eyeliner off the shelves for like three months and it was the worst three months of my life because I had to try to find a eyeliner that I liked and I couldn't I couldn't find a good eyeliner no matter how hard I tried you guys and I tried so many different ones and one thing that I have learned in this process is I hate felt tip liners and the reason I hate felt tip liners is because I take a lot of time to do my eyeliner and I feel like with felt tip liners they get dried out like while I'm in the middle of doing my second wing and even if I like put the lid on and shake it like they just dry out really really quickly I don't know if you guys have that same issue with felt tip liners but it always happens when I'm in the middle of my second wing it starts to dry out and I can't get any product onto my eye so I tried the prestige triple line ink pen fail essence super fine eyeliner pen fail <laughs> And then I tried the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner here. Those two were felt tips. This one is actually a brush tip. So it's the kind that has the fine brush tip and you stick it in to the pot like this and you dip it in. This one worked better than the other ones and this is actually the one that I used while I was waiting for the Physicians Formula one to come back. But I still didn't like it. 
I used it because it's all I could find at the time. And the reason I didn't like this is because it cracks. Like you put it onto your eye and it's dark, it's black, and it's easy to apply, but it cracks. And then when you like lift up your eyebrows, you can like see all the cracks in your wing and it's so unflattering, but it was like all I could find that kind of maybe worked a little bit, but I would not buy this again. It was by no means like a good product. And then last but not least, I can't find it anywhere. I have no idea why I can't find it. I'm probably gonna find it like the second I'm done filming this video, but I bought the Stila one because the Stila one has a ton of good reviews. There's so many people that love the Stila one and I was like, okay, this is gonna be my savior until the Physicians Formula One comes back. I didn't like that one either because the same thing happened. It was felt tip and it dried out on my second wing and it drove me nuts and the color was really nice. It didn't like uh, crack, but it dried out. And I was like, gosh dang it, like I can't do this. And they finally repackaged it. It's back in stores. So if you guys are wondering, you can get it back in stores again. I picked mine up and I'm just like, oh. Anyways, that is my video. This is like a really long video. I'm gonna have to do some major, major editing in this video, but I had a lot of products in this video, I feel like. So anyways, sorry for the long video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if there's any products that you think I should try, or even better, let me know in the comments below what product you've tried recently that you absolutely hated, that did not work for you, or that you wish that you didn't spend your money on. I'd be really curious to hear. And yeah, so that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Facebook, my Facebook group. Everything is linked down below. So yeah, I think that's it, guys. I will talk to you soon, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.